welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews brought to you by HollywoodPhoto.com. I'm Eric and today I'm going to be reviewing the Z Edge Z 3D Dual Lens Dash Cam. This is an awesome uh, dash cam by a company called Z Edge. They make several different dash cams and this is a really, really cool product. Uh, lots of reasons for that, but the number one is that it is a dual lens dash cam. So you have this camera which mounts to your front windshield and sees the front of your car, a wide angle, gets everything that's going on in front of your car, but you have this secondary camera which mounts to your rear window and can get everything behind your car. In case of a rear end collision or something like that, you've got video of that as well. But this is kind of a dual function because you could use it that way or if what you're looking for, maybe you're an Uber or Lyft driver and you want a dash cam for the front of your car and then you want a camera for the inside of your car for when you have passengers, then you could mount this to your dash or to your window or something on the front of your car and have it pointed back and just have it recording inside your car. You could really use it either way. It's made primarily to be used as a rear of your car camera, but you could use it either way. It is a dual camera it's, and it will, re will record both at once. So uh, let's talk about some of the cool features of this camera and then in a minute we'll jump over to video where I'll show you the actual menu of the camera and the different uh, features and functions that you can change. Uh, but this camera is a great camera. It has a really high uh, resolution, wide angle. It has a wide dynamic range as far as color goes. So you're getting a really excellent, excellent picture, uh, both in at day and at night. At night, it's not doing infrared black and white night. It's just doing wide dynamic range to give you the best uh, quality picture that it can with uh, uh, very little light. Uh, and it uses, uses the wide dynamic range feature to capture uh, nighttime video as well. Uh, then this suction cup piece up here has a GPS chip in it. So you run the power into this and then you run connect this to the camera and by doing that you can record GPS coordinates as well as recording video. And then you have a second uh, a mini USB port and a long, long, long cord in order to be able to connect from there all the way back to the rear of your car to connect the secondary camera. And this has a little sticky pad that sticks to your window. Uh, you can stick it, you can remove it, you can stick it back. Uh, very sticky, will hold in place very, very well and gives you a really good wide angle view of the rear with the same high uh, uh, quality camera resolution and detail. Uh, and it will record both, obviously, at the same time, as well as recording those GPS coordinates if, you ha if you're using uh, the GPS unit with it. Uh, you can also have it record audio inside the car. If you want it to record audio inside the car, you can turn that on or off. Uh, it has other features such as uh, motion detection to rec start recording if it detects motion. Uh, it has a parking protection feature so that you can set it so that when you turn your car off in your part. Uh, if it detects a jolt, then it will turn on and start recording as well. Um, and any of those cases can record both the, out of both cameras. Uh, the view screen that is on here, you can set it up so that you can uh, see either just the front camera, just the rear camera, or picture in picture, which will have a mostly the front camera with a smaller uh, picture of the rear camera. Uh, so you can see that as well. Now this is a small uh, display here. This isn't meant to be used uh, while you're driving. So don't think that you're going to get this and use this as a backup camera. Uh, it will not work that way. That's not what this is intended for. And this display is really, really small. It's not meant for that. This display is meant just for when you're setting it up or when you first start it. Uh, maybe have the display on for the first minute or so just so you can make sure the camera cameras are positioned correctly, uh, that is what it is for, as well as using it to go into the settings and change settings. It's not meant to be used as a backup camera or anything like that, so just know that. 
but it is very effective for what it is meant to be used for. Um, and this works really great. Uh, I took video of me driving around and you, know, you can see there's two ways to watch the video. You can watch the video uh, through any player. I mean, just record standard video that you can watch using VLC player, whatever video player you have uh, on your computer. And in so doing, you'll get a really smooth video. You can see it looks really good, high resolution. Very nice. Now, if you want to know the GPS coordinates and get a map that shows exactly where you are along with the video, in order to do that, you need to download the Z Edge software. And when you do that, as you can see, you'll actually see a map. <clears throat> it'll show your coordinates, it'll show your speed, longitude, latitude, all of that stuff. Now, when you're playing the video on that, because it's playing video and it's importing GPS coordinates and finding it on the map and all that stuff at the same time, the video is a little bit jittery. That's not the video itself, that's just the playback of the video because it's doing three things, three or four things at one time. Um, but as you can see, you will see exactly where you are, uh, where you were, where you are uh, in the video. Uh, it'll show you exact coordinates and exactly on a map. So in case of an accident or something, which is you know the reason you have something like this, you will have that information uh, exactly what, ha what where it happened, uh, what happened, where you were, GPS coordinates right there. So uh, really high quality. Anyway, uh, let me jump over to the video where I can just show you all the settings that you can set uh, inside of this camera to make it work exactly the way you need it to work. So I'm going to show you uh, some of the features of this. I'm doing this in my office because the reflection, this is a glass screen. So in my car, the reflection is just too much for the video camera to be able to focus on the actual screen and not what's reflecting off the screen. So uh, you see you have these buttons over here. If you hit the OK button, it brings up your little menu. you got stop to stop recording. you got uh, the mic to where they want to record sound or not record sound. And you can see a little icon that shows up at the top to show you that. You've got the camera button, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and then you have the emergency button. Uh, I call it emergency. Basically what it does, that says this recording is really urgent and important, so don't record over it uh, like you do normal stuff. And so that's what that's for. Uh, and you have your little indicators up here that indicate, uh, like, that's motion detection. Uh, this one here is for parking detection. And you'll see there's options and settings. So if we click the OK button and then click the button beside the camera, then it goes into, you can play, you can go to videos, you can go to uh, the menu. So we're going to go into menu, and here's where you have your options. So you have your resolution option, screen display. Uh, now screen display, so let's go, oh, sorry, I'm going to do that. Let's go, I clicked OK, that's the version. I'm going to go back, so, so when you click menu, you got your up and down arrows to go up and down these and then click OK to choose one. So if we go to front camera, click OK, you can see front camera, rear camera, or PIP. In my car, I keep it in PIP, so I see them both. Now I have the display set to go off after a certain amount of time, and you'll see that. So. You're not using, this is a tiny little display, it's really just used for setup and so you can make sure the cameras are set up correctly and to do this kind of stuff, it's not something you're going to be using while you're driving. Uh, loop recording, so how long you want that to be, you've got one minute, three minutes, and five minutes. Uh, voice setup, whether you want that or not. Um, exposure, the stamp setup, like where, what kind of stamp you want, date, time, etc. Your language, you can set your time. Uh, driver ID setting, if you want to have different drivers set up in here you can. Button beep, which is the beep you're hearing right now. There's the auto power off, so that's after you uh, turn your engine off. How long before it auto powers off? I have it run for three minutes and then power off. Um, LCD auto off, so that's even when it's got power, how long do you want the LCD to be on before it turns off? So you can see, you can have it cut off after one minute, three minutes, or just off. And I have three minutes. Uh, then you have uh, wide dynamic range, if you want that on, which you probably do. Uh, the frequency for the video, 
Uh, the format is for formatting your micro SD card when you first put it in, and default is to go to default settings. And then you have your version info. So all of the settings that you need to basically get this where you want it. Now if you hit menu again, it goes to the second menu button, and this is driver fatigue alarm. Uh, remind lights, that's to remind you to turn on your lights. Uh, motion detect, so I have that set so if it detects motion it will uh, start recording. Parking monitoring so that even when I'm parked it will, if something were to uh, hit me then it would start recording. And you can select the G sensor sensitivity that affects the parking meter and stuff so how how, what kind of sensing of motion does it need to consider it a possible accident if you're driving or if you're parking or you're parked uh, to, to mark that um, recording as a, an emergency recording that's record over and I have it set to low. So those are your menu settings and then here you can go to videos uh, you can go to uh, let's see, go back to if you go to, oh, the bottom one is to actually record, the middle one is to play videos, so you can go to your playlist, uh, normal video, emergency file, so what files do you have in emergency, as well as what photos have you taken, and then go back, and there you go. So those are really your options. You can see uh, up here you have the recording, I'll show you the current recording, and then the resolution you're using, the three minute loop, um, all those indicators there, the battery, which again, you have this, this should always be connected to power in your car, the battery is just really for the parking sensor when there is no power, um, but uh, when it's running in your car, it'll be running off of battery power. So you can see a lot of uh, great settings that you can set up uh, this camera to work exactly the way you need it to work uh, for the best and optimal performance for the way that you're using it. Uh, again, it is the Z Edge Z3D dual lens camera. Uh, and that's what's awesome about this versus a lot of dash cams that are out there is the fact that you can get both the front and the rear of your car. Uh, or if you want, you can get the front and the inside of your car by putting this on your uh, dash and just pointing it for the inside of your car. But either way, you're getting two camera lenses. You're able to record two videos simultaneously uh, and have those in case of an accident, you know, Dash cam is something you hope you never actually need it. You have it just in case, like insurance, but uh, in the case that you do need it, it is great to have and it can come in really handy. And this one by Z Edge is definitely one of the best on the market. Um, I think it works great and I definitely would recommend it if you're looking for something like this. Uh, now it is available on Amazon. I will have a link in the description below. Uh, you can click that link, you can jump over to Amazon, you can read what other people have said about it, and you can pick one up for yourself. Anyway, that's going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in this product, share this video with them. All those ways are down there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this playlist to keep up with future product reviews, or just go ahead and subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my videos. If you have any questions or anything I didn't cover, feel free to put that in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as I can. Anyway, that's going to be it. Until next time, so have a great day.